in today's videos guys we are of course going to look at the bitcoin price why was this dip up to 8900 there on the charts i'm going to tell you also going to show you why it's not important to look at the short term dips because we are moving in this huge range going to show this fractal we saw in the mid of may which made this huge run to 10,400 from 8,000. We are seeing the same fractal on the charts again, so make sure you don't miss out on this part of the video. If you don't trust Bitcoin at the point, and if you want to diversify, I have an amazing idea where you can diversify your Bitcoins into without even needing to exchange them to US dollar, Euro or any other fiat. Check it out, it's really nice. That Litecoin and Charlie Lee now announcing the new Mimble Wimble protocol. What this is going to mean for Litecoin in the near future. Some cool news is that now Brazil is able to use WhatsApp as a payment tool, not like a crypto, but if you watch the video, you will understand what they are using and how they are using it. And to end the video, I'm giving you an update about the drama in Ethereum. We saw another transaction with a fee of 2.6 million US dollar Ethereum. Make sure you start this beautiful day with watching this amazing video. morning guys from the beautiful island of Copagan. Welcome to my office today together with Jessa. My daughter Jessa. Let's together give me your hand jump into the office. One, two, three. Go! Yeah, we are in the office. Jessa is joining me. She woke up very early this morning. So she will join me today in the video. If the dog keeps barking, I will personally throw him in the water. Jessa, let's start today with asking you a question. Do you like Bitcoin? I love Bitcoin. She loves Bitcoin because we travel all the world of Bitcoin. And of course, traveling makes children very happy. But Jessa, yes. Jessa <laughs> you do miss your friends and family sometimes, do you? Yeah. So sometimes we need to visit. Yeah. Holland. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So that's why we visit Holland sometimes, just to visit friends and family. Yesterday we saw this huge drop to 8,900. Yes, I think a lot of people got scared. But if you had watched my video that was titled, Will we huddle 9,100 US dollar in Bitcoin? You would have been prepared for what to come. Lisa very beautifully and professionally showed what could happen she was very positive in the fact that we would hold on 9,100 US dollar and that we would go up to around 10k before the next dip. And this next dip, she told us as well, could bring us indeed to 7k. So till now, Lisa was right. I hope Lisa isn't right on the next dip because I just hope we will break this 10,500 resistance because I am getting tired of this ping pong game I want to go up <laughs> the reason guys for the drop could be the whales because we saw a huge inflow of Bitcoin about 16,000 bitcoins flowing into the exchanges and uh, exactly like one or two hours after we saw the huge dip to 8,900 so again the whales are playing us um, at that point 30 million US dollar was liquidated on these exchanges Jessa is 30 million dollar a lot yeah what would you buy of 30 million dollar I think twice maybe in dark but not that clean because he's but you can buy a lot of toys for 30 million dollars. Yeah. You can buy a house, a yacht, a plane, you can buy many things. I think I will buy a dog. A dog? A bit of toys. You see, Jessa already loves the minimalistic lifestyle. She is not even thinking about houses or motorbikes or whatever. She just wants a dog she can play with on the beach. Or like a scooter, like a drive. <laughs> a scooter and a driving license. Yeah. Dream on Jessa. So it could be that these whales were taking profit because they had a huge 130% run up like the last few months and they were just in for taking profit. But what if these whales just don't like leverage traders? So they don't like the longing and shorting game on all the leverage platforms and they just want to liquidate everybody that doesn't just fully trust the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and you know gets into it for the long term and stops playing these games. Maybe these whales hate these leverage traders and they just liquidate them every time again till they run out of money and then Bitcoin goes back to this normal Bitcoin 
play where you just buy bitcoins on the whole exchange preferably a peer-to-peer -peer or a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer exchange and then you just huddle and you sell at the top and you buy back at the bottom which will make the market less volatile the dog is really crazy guys he's barking at people at everybody which brings me guys to the next point because this short-term scalping you know trying to time the best possible buy moment for bitcoin is not only like a useless game but also a dangerous game what does it matter if you buy bitcoin now at 8500 or at 9500 or even at 10500 if you truly believe and truly understand that bitcoin will go to 20k maybe 50k or even maybe 100k in the next couple of years yes we are talking on about the next two years yes it is of course a sport i know it's beautiful if you time it exactly and you buy at 8600 and you can say wow i bought the dip but in the long term if you zoom out in crypto like i always say it doesn't matter if you buy around 8.5 9.5 10.5 you know we are going to 100k what do these few thousand dollar extra profit even matter if you're making that shit load of money in the next couple of years by just buying bitcoin now holding it and not stressing daily on the price but if you want to trade and you want to play this game then you need to play this game on a daily base and then if you play this game on a daily base then it could be cool to zoom in into the charts you know and to buy low and to sell high on a daily base to make some profit but then you need to watch this market all day long if you don't have the time to it if you're just a normal investor you just invest now and you don't freak out but you zoom out and you see the bigger picture and you understand that you will multiply your investment in the next two years mm -hmm. jessa do you want to join me to this beautiful forest of palm trees and mushroom shaped dreams happy mushroom shaped dreams maybe the dog gets happy if we just visit the happy mushroom trees yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay we need to make 25 steps to that side up front there's a bite back on your hand. 25 <laughs> steps that way and then 25 steps to the right. Let's start. And we are there. We are in this beautiful forest of palm trees and mushroom trees. So if you zoom out a little bit on the charts, you can see we are just moving in this huge range. This huge range from 8,100 till about 10,500. The middle line of this range is around 9,250. So, you know, we can move all up and down between these two lines. <clears throat> so even when we move down to 8,100, I'm still not freaking out. I'm still zooming out and I will see if this 8,100 will provide us the support to bounce back up to this beautiful 9,250 line again, and maybe even then again to 10,500. So this is the big range we are playing in at the moment. If we take a look at this chart, guys, we can even see this fractal. We can see exactly in the chart what happened around the 25th of May. After we formed this pattern uh, on the chart, we saw this huge run up to about 10,400 from the 8K region. So if this fractal is playing out now as well, uh, the repeating of this pattern, which we can see clearly that is almost exactly a copy of this pattern we saw at that time we could make another run up again to 10,400 before maybe we will be stopped out there again by the bears but we will see maybe this time we will break it this dog is not about walking this dog is about being a baby but guys indeed yes uh, but guys you know if you don't trust Bitcoin and if you don't believe in this beautiful stock to flow jar that will bring us to 100k then maybe it is better to diversify a part of your portfolio and if you want to diversify a part of your portfolio of bitcoins maybe you should invest a part of this money into real estate and if you want to invest in real estate yes i'm getting at the point i'm going to then guys go to turkey and buy some beautiful property there with your bitcoins so you don't even have to exchange your bitcoins back to us dollar euro euros or turkish lira no there is now this amazing real estate agency in turkey antalya houses that accepts direct bitcoin payments 
I already took a look at the website to search for a beautiful house. I found a house that I really like in Bodrum. Bodrum is a beautiful tourist place. If you want to book a holiday to Bodrum, use my booking.com link, of course. This beautiful house there in Bodrum, man, it has no pool. It has this beautiful new modern type style of living in Bodrum, which is a vibrant city in Turkey. This one is being sold for 900,000 US dollars. Yes, sir. How much Bitcoin is 900,000 US dollars? Hundreds? Bitcoin. Yeah, that's correct. Mm. Yo, I love my Bitcoin mm. family kids. It is about 100 Bitcoins because 100 times 9,000 is 900,000. So only 100 Bitcoins. You buy this beautiful property directly with your Bitcoins. Jessa, I think you want to leave? Yeah. Why? Because I everywhere like stuff freaking me here. Yeah. Sand flies? Yeah. Yeah, you see? I even walk through the sand flies with my daughter to create this beautiful content. But Jess is going to walk home while I'll talk you through the last Bye. part of news. Bye Jess! How beautiful is it that you can do this in the morning with your daughter just on the beach? I just love this beautiful lifestyle. And I love my daughter Jessa. She is the wild one. She's the crazy one. Uh, she's also the difficult one because life is never easy if Jessa is around. She has a lot of energy and she absorbs all your energy as well. And to be clear guys, it's not only possible to buy this house with Bitcoin, you can also buy it with Bitcoin Cash, you can also buy it with XLM, I think Ethereum, and I uh, to end it up with, you can buy it also with Litecoin. So for all you Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash whales out there, go to Turkey if you want to diversify your portfolio and start to invest in some beautiful Turkish properties. I think the prices of these houses are also bottoming out at the moment uh, because tourism is in a dip and in the future, Maybe even diversifying your portfolio into a little bit of real estate is not that bad idea. And since I just mentioned Litecoin, let's talk a little bit more about Litecoin because there was this interview with Charlie Lee in the last couple of days where he announced this new Mimble Wimble feature in Litecoin that will be added like in the next couple of months. They call it Litecoin 2.0. Charlie Lee mentioned in this interview that um, he thinks that the adding of Mimble Wimble is a true improvement for the Litecoin blockchain because guys, um, it will enhance the privacy and it will enha enhance the scalability of Litecoin, which again makes Litecoin one of the best currencies around. And why? Because Charlie is like, Litecoin, yes, is maybe sometimes a boring coin. Yes, we are maybe not moving that much as other currencies, but he thinks it's positive because he's like, money needs to be stable and needs to be working. And Litecoin has been a currency that has been flawlessly working for the last nine years. Not many other currencies like Litecoin and Bitcoin can say the same thing. Litecoin at the moment is at a price of 43 US dollars. I have seen Litecoin at $80 a few months ago. I have seen Litecoin at $300 a few a year ago. And so I think an investment in Litecoin now, just before the upgrade to this Mimble Wimble protocol and all that stuff, is a good investment. So I'm adding Litecoin to my portfolio again at these low prices, around 40 bucks. To get even a little bit more bullish on Litecoin, guys, I need to mention that Litecoin is also added to the website localcryptos.com. Localcryptos.com is a website where you can peer-to-peer -peer buy and sell your cryptos. They were already offering Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now they are adding Litecoin to that website as well, which means you can exchange your Litecoins for cash with other human beings directly peer-to-peer -peer, without having the use of an exchange. Yes. You cannot lose your Litecoins or your Bitcoins or your inter Ethereum in this process. Localcryptos.com guys just works the same as localbitcoins.com. You send your Bitcoins into a wallet. The other person sends the funds into the wallet. And when everything is collected, they exchange from person. So yes, it's safe to use. Then guys, some other short news. that WhatsApp now is making it possible for all the people in Brazil to use WhatsApp as a payment tool just like the Chinese people use WeChat. You know, you can use WeChat to pay at local bars, you can pay at local market tables, you can pay on many places with using your WeChat app. Now WhatsApp is adding the same technology and you will be able to use your WhatsApp um, messenger app to pay for stuff in Brazil. Probably WhatsApp is going to test how it works in Brazil and then roll out in more uh, countries. So yes, this is not crypto, this is just normal fiat. They do it by adding this credit cards or bank accounts, you know, KYC regulated companies 
to WhatsApp. So if you use WhatsApp, it looks like you're paying with WhatsApp, but you're just uh, paying with your traditional credit card that is like connected to WhatsApp. I think this is a smart step because you know, you know all the Libra story. Libra was not accepted as something positive by the government. Now they just implement a beautiful tool in WhatsApp. In the future, they want to implement this Novi wallet um, into the WhatsApp as well. And then you will be able to transact Libra, Libra Euro, Libra Dollar, Libra Pound, and, and even the normal Libra. So then they surpass this whole construction they had with Libra. And now they just use WhatsApp to add a wallet to your WhatsApp and add all these currencies in this wallet. So you will be able in the future maybe to use your Libras and your Libra Euros in the WhatsApp app. Let's see how this one develops. Again, it's not crypto. It's centralized as hell. It does have not one of the fundamentals that Bitcoin has. So be aware, it's just another monetary tool that is created by a huge centralized organization. And then there is a short update about the whole Ethereum drama because now there was another transaction made. Again, a small amount of Ethereum, Ethereum was sent with a huge fee of $2.6 million dollars. Uh, word of Ethereum, we already saw a transaction of 2.3 US dollars of Ethereum. We saw already a transaction of 800,000 US dollar fees, fees used in Ethereum. So what is happening? Is this really a blackmail? Is this company really liquidating some big whales wallet that he has access to? We still don't know. The only thing we do know is that this pool who mined the last 2.6 million dollars of fee, they just announced that they are going to pocket these fees, which means that if in the next four days the owner of the wallet doesn't show up, they aren't going to distribute the fees to all the miners in the mining pool. And then these Ethereums will never go back to the true owner of those 2.6 million Ethereum. There are some people in this mining pool that don't agree with this. They are like, if you truly, truly want to pay somebody these 2.6 million US dollar in fees back, then you would give them a little bit more time than the four days then you would give them at least a month or two months to claim this wallet and if you do it like this then you really prove you know that you want to refund the funds if you just give them four days it's not really like trying to give back the funds it's just trying to pocket the funds as soon as possible that was all the news for today guys i hope you enjoyed this daily video again with my beautiful daughter jessa if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel share the video click the bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make and leave a comment because I would love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching and like I always said, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bye. But now you're gonna ask if they can save you a Bitcoin. Bitcoin?